Did you ever go? follow you on, on TikTok too. Well let me ask you something. What? You see how like how everybody was fucking coming at me making it confusing like I'm the crazy one? Like, you see how I put all them niggas in their place? I I ain't tell a lie on nobody, did I? Me. 
He was already doing creepy shit to me, so like, I like been peeped the nigga vibe. Give me a picture. Give me a picture. So I'm not. I'm comfortable, but I'm not comfortable being a big girl or whatever. I've been big all my life, but I'm still not comfortable. So he was like, "Oh, send me a picture of you naked. Send me a picture of this." Okay, I got these old ass pictures from way back when. Mm-hmm. Here, here's this type of picture. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, go in the bathroom and send me another one. Oh, I'm stressing out at work. Send me a picture of me like this. cousin doing? My nephew, he's Your nephew. Better now. Oh. Demon. I just thought she was gone for good. Talking to me now? Yeah. Now I'm talking to my friend. Right, yeah. I don't want to interrupt. Yeah, yeah it looks good. Look like my purse. <laughs> 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 I only did it because my best friend told me to. He was like, I got to dye his color. It looks good. Thank you. Mm-hmm. I, I did pink and purple in mine, but I did it with braiding hair. Yeah. 
sleep. Someone tried to tell me I had white girl hair. That's why my braids don't last. I was like, bitch, it's been in over three weeks. I was like, this is shit been in over three weeks. What are you talking about? Like, Childish as fuck. I said, for me to feel this fucked up about myself, I said, I don't even know if I'm gonna be here tomorrow or this weekend. And if I'm telling you that, this is what I'm saying. Because I'm not playing about it. I was not playing last week. I told my sister, I said, bro, I'm real. I went to my mama first. When it first happened two weeks ago, I was I went home, told my mama, I was like. I am not where I need to be. I don't know what's going on. I haven't been asleep in a couple of days. I have not been eating. I said, I'm going to let you know this now. If I flip out, go off, it is not me. And I'm sorry. <laughs> it was that bad? It, it kept going downhill. And it was like, you got to keep fighting. You got to keep fighting. I don't want to fight no more. I just want to go to sleep. I want to end it. And when I felt like that, and the days just start going by, I knew, okay, Tay, you got to get together.
my pinky. He had got a real bad infection in his leg. But he's doing better. I talked to him today. Is, Jesus, yeah. is that where he got shot in his leg? Mm-hmm. And it got infected? And my mental this week, my mental's doing much better. That's good. I had to take a little bit of a mental break, too. Because I'm dealing with a fucking asshole landlord. They're taking me to court because I threw garbage away. And they don't like it. Make sure you don't get nothing over there. So I've been dealing with that fucking nigga. I've been dealing with a bitch ass landlord. So I got I called a lawyer. I gotta call another lawyer because my lawyer ain't responding quick enough for me. But who gonna come pack this house up? And then I need to sue their ass. I'm bound to sue a bit. They got me fucked up. No, I'm it's like my, uh, and my well, I've had to take my own time off too, cause I gotta deal with the shit, with the bullshit. My yeah, fucking brain hurts. Like, I'm tired as fuck I'm dealing with this shit. I'm draining. I, I, I really, I mean, I want to say end it and be like, okay, I'm over this. It's time for me a permanent during that. I'm there. I'll be ready too, because like, what's the point of me keep fighting all this and that every time I go online? It's a bunch of weird ass niggas in my face telling me that I need to pay them. Pay you for what, bitch? You ain't licked my ass. You ain't sent me a cash app, a door dash, a motherfucking. You ain't licked the coochie lip, bitch. You ain't blown me a kiss. You ain't done shit for me. For me. For every time I see you, you keep saying, throw me a bean. Listen, I get it. You've been saying that shit for a decade. But listen, my nigga, like, you throw me some motherfucking. I mean, can I get some gap insurance, bitch? Can I get a dentist? visit my nigga can i can i you know what i'm saying like and i'm trying to work with people but it's like this why i stayed in myself but then everything that happened ran me up out my own motherfucking family i'm over here trying to control it from afar now I'm far from controlling it trying to control it from afar then king of kings come and say what's up mama what's up baby girl and then drop my badge i'm like nigga what you don't do nothing anyway like, the audacity, like, you don't do shit anyway. Like, I should have been dropped away. I just kept you in here because you was cute. That's it. Period. Don't get it fucked up. Very honest. And if anything y'all should know about me at this point is I kept it very real with everybody. I ain't lie to nobody. I ain't hate on nobody. And I ain't give no fucks. I got too much shit going on to give a fuck. And I'm really wondering, like, what the fuck am I doing? Because, like, my founder, if I told my founder what I was going through right now, that nigga would clown me. So I'm really trying to think about what the fuck I'm doing right now. You know what I'm saying? That's why I became my own founder. Because I can't clown my fucking self. But if I told him, like, listen, I'm not going to be coming in this bitch and throwing shit until I get my shit straight. And then I'll be gladly throwing shit. But if I told my founder what I was going through right now, I honestly think he would clown the fuck out of me. So I'm really considering whether I want to be in this family or not. Because, bitch, I don't got time for you to be clowning me, bitch. I'm here to change my motherfucking situation. And when I do, I'm going to look at you and my motherfucking G-Wagon. Like, bitch, the fuck you want from me? I could have threw you a fucking gold bar by now, bitch. I've had prophecies of my motherfucking incoming fucking shit that I got going on. But I got to go through it first. I got to sue these motherfuckers first. But I'm just trying to make decisions because... I don't think I want to be around people that will clown me for what the fuck I'm going through when they definitely going to ask me for the bag later. Oh can, you, oh, can I get some money? Can I have some money? Can you make it rain on me? No, bitch. I'm making it rain on the motherfuckers that don't run their fucking mouth about shit that could possibly fucking kill a goddess like me. The fuck? No, we're just, I'm just going through shit and still trying to like, broadcast. I was like, maybe she's just going through it and I'm going to let her be when I catch her, I'm going to catch her. But I was like, you tell me and we're going to be fucking shit. So you're weird. That's the thing. nigga's mad weird. I definitely told him without telling him anybody business. I was just like, it's not a good idea. You know what I'm saying? And then my 
of course. He got out of jail, he hit me up, he used to not do too good. Told him how I felt, I don't even know what the fuck I'm going to do because I don't even know if I want to be on this app no more for real. Yeah. Yeah, plus I still got, I got more people on TikTok following me now than I do on here. Yeah, I know. I'm sick of this app, kind of. Like, I'm really trying to, I'm really trying to get that drive back to be on here, but like, I'm so sick of the, I'm just sick of the fake, fake funky ass motherfuckers that think that anything I do got to do with what they doing. If you don't like, if you don't want to fuck with me because I don't got a bag, bitch, bye. I am, I am the bag. I just have to secure it. That's all. I'm in secure process. Like, I don't give a fuck what nobody says. Albert Einstein was told he wasn't going to be shit. Motherfucking Madea, the nigga that every nigga want to be like, was sleeping in his fucking car. And I could keep going on and on and on and on and on. There's a lot of motherfuckers that started from the bottom, now they here. Yeah, like, bitch, if I'm starting this good at the bottom, bitch, imagine when I get to the top. Sorry you won't be there because you a fucking unfaithful son of a bitch that need money now for a fucking quick burger, bitch. Like, this shit just pissed me off. Because you're not going to sit there and treat me like I'm worthless because of a situation, bitch. When you a paycheck away from being in that same situation, your motherfucking self, ho. Like, I ain't going to be on tag now. Tag be having me fucking late. I be sitting up there and that motherfucker laughing. I be joking with certain people I know. Like, I just made a Twitch. Because one of my friends, he goes live all the time. So I go in there and talk shit to him, throw him his little shit and... They keep trying to tell me that you make more money as an agent over here. They're like, I'm like, I make, you know, X amount as an agent on Miko. They're like, Miko, don't pay you like that, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, think about it. Even if this app pays more as an agent, you can only recruit for the U.S. and Canada. Over there, I could recruit around the whole fucking world. Don't you think in the long run that might pay me a little more than your incentives? You got U.S. and fucking Canada hosts. I got U.S., Canada, Germany, Israel, Pakistan, India, Nigeria. Like, bitch, I could go on. It's a lot of countries. Egypt. Kazakhstan. I don't even know if that's a fucking country. I just made that one up. But I'm pretty sure if somebody showed up from Kazakhstan, I could recruit them. And I'm pretty sure my little 10 percentages will add the fuck up globally, internationally. Like, stop telling me what make more money and what don't. I don't even have to think too hard about that, bitch. The other one make more money because you can recruit more. Of course, you got you got to have you got to pressure the fuck out of your host on this app because you can only recruit fucking a, a handful of hosts. Get here. Get me. You got to pressure them bitches to be top notch bullshit. No. Make sure they top notch garbage. I'm trying. If I get selected to do these shows, then I'll give a fuck again. If I I signed up for some content, if they let me do it, then it's I'm gonna be back on and popping. And if not, then I don't know. I might just be on Miko before I get credit for all my hours. I don't know yet. I have no idea what I'm gonna do. Only I don't know the future. I can't predict it. Well, I'm trying to be here, but, like, I'm like, do these niggas want to help me, or do they want me to just pay them? Like, I, it's like the same shit repeating itself over and over and over again. Like, right. god damn, this shit is repetitive as fuck. No! That's what you get. You spying on me for Poppy, Mr. Demon? Because you sure ain't saying shit. Oh, who crying? Oh, little Tink Tink. Little Tink Tink. Aww. Oh, yeah, those go smack, though. 
That's teriyaki. Beef, beef jerky. I said teriyaki. Oh, okay. Yeah, the little jerkies. I like, um, you know what, when I was pregnant, then that's when I was like, um, I like beef jerky now and orange juice was my shit. I would get like beef jerky and I needed orange juice on deck. And I would, I would do beef jerky and a smoothie almost every day. I would do some weird shit. I don't think my kids like that shit either. Like, the stuff they made me crave when I was pregnant, they don't like it. Huh? I was like, this is what you had your mommy trying. Yeah, your mom, you made me want this weird combination of shit. <laughs> it depends on who you have a kid with, I guess, you know? You have any yet? Mm -hmm. Maybe one day. When the right niggas, when the right niggas come out my life. Yeah. When the right men come in my life. I thought that I wanted more children, but I can't even see me dating anybody again. I'm probably gonna if I don't have them. I'm gonna be a cat lady if I don't have more children. I'm going to have, like, two, three dogs and, like, three cats. Like, two cats. A matter of fact, I think I'm already a cat lady, if, to be honest with you. Because I'm supposed to be going to adopt my kittens tomorrow. If everything turns out right, if not, I'm going to have a fucking bitch fit. And that's on everything. That's on me, baby. That's on me, baby. What the fuck is this? I'm trying to show you my, um, oh my goodness. I'm trying to show you my screensaver, but it's like, put me in night mode so it won't show my screensaver. Fucking idiot. Let me go to my photos. I'll show you from there. This is my screensaver. Oh. Right? <laughs> That's Mason, Zion, and Israel right there. Look at little Zion, he's so cute. And then Israel right there at the little bottom. Can you see him? He's white. Oh, he's so. Yes, yeah, he's gray. They're so fucking cute. And then Mason, he's like, oh, you taking a picture? Like, let me pose. Yeah, that's my baby. That's the oldest. He's the oldest, and then these two were just born. They're eight weeks. I'm like, I can't wait to go get them tomorrow. I'm trying to borrow some funds from my cousin to hurry up. Stop yelling at me. Stop yelling. I don't have to have babies. The na na Mother Nature give me babies every day. He cracked me up. He, that's cute. <laughs> He's yelling. He don't give a fuck. He's yelling back. <laughs> he said, and I oop. <laughs> hey, we trying to fight me with all the shit. For real. Uh... Girl, you slapped me the last week and we were here fighting. And I was like, I'm down with you. Get out of here. I don't care. <laughs> hey, he fell out of start <laughs> I don't know. I might start my life over at 45. I might end up meeting a husband. Like, you know, in a year or two, and then we get together, and then at 45, I decide I want to have a bunch of kids. <laughs> I'm just playing. That's a lie. The the way your body feel when you turn 30-something, I don't think that's going on down. I had to become a, an extreme athlete. <laughs> but you're young, though. You can do it. You're still young. You can do it. Nah, stop the cap. Stop the motherfucking cap. 
<laughs> I'm fucking dead. She said I'm 48. <laughs> 48 hours, the first 48. Yeah, what's that? You keep the niggas you keep talking to. I told you don't talk to that motherfucker. I didn't tell you not to talk to him. I just told you like be cautious. Because right. like, I, was like I peeped game that the nigga was creepy, bro. Like he was doing some weird shit to me. I didn't put him in my family because I fucked with homie. I put him in my family because homie couldn't stay off my page. I didn't put him in my family because I fucked with him. I put him in my family because he was fucking with me. You get it? I played, I don't know why, but I played a role. And I was like, why'd you kick me, babe? (laughs) You said what? Why'd you kick me, babe? Like, what's going on? And then once that weird shit just kept going, and my thought process was like, bitch, you don't do it. Yeah, nigga, you're weird. You're cut off, blocked, all that. Yeah. It's not and safe. I'm like that person to try to reach out to be cordial. I don't give a fuck, bro. Keep your energy where you at. Somebody and said he I was looking for me. I was like, looking for me for what? He probably is. He changed his name. Regan for life. That's what it was. That's what it's always been. He changed as a slave when he joined my family. Actually, he changed it to slave when I started calling him out about coming in and out of my fucking broadcast. I was like, yo, you've been fucking trolling my broadcast for like months, bro. Like you've been trolling my broadcast for months. Like, what it what's up with it? I'm like, I'm like, I'm a founder. Join my family since you got so much airtime. Then he started getting, like, really comfortable. He started talking, opening up more. I didn't really think nothing of it. But I was like, I don't want that drama in my family from people dating one another. He actually started talking to you because the niggas in my family were talking to me. He was, like, just telling me how him and a other, another dude, they were, they were the only two willing to share me or something in a relationship. That was like, no, I'm going to add a couple more niggas, blah, blah, blah. I was just bullshit. And then... He went to you out of like some spiteful type jealousy shit. So I try to tell you, hey, you know, but y'all motherfuckers was in here treating me like I was crazy. Like these motherfuckers were giving me too many problems for me to even give a fuck anymore.